Hello and welcome to our Verdant VX4 thermostat installation tutorial. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of installing your new wireless thermostat to ensure everything is set up perfectly. Before we get started, let's take a moment to identify and understand the components that come with your shipment. Here we have the VX4 thermostat, the central component of your Verdant energy management system. And we also have the controller card on hand. Next, we have the online connection kit, which enables networking capabilities. Depending on your setup, there are optional accessories that you may receive. They include the occupancy sensor, a wall plate, and a door and window sensor. We also have the adapter for VRF systems, if it's applicable to your setup. This is one of the various VRF adapters that we offer. And finally, we have the high voltage control card, also known as ZXHV, which plays a key role in managing high voltage connection in your HVAC system. Now, before we start with the thermostat installation, we recommend installing the online connection kit first. Make sure you have all the parts in your online connection kit box. RJ45 cable, Verdant gateway, USB cable, power supply, and antenna. And once this is verified, we can go into the steps. The gateway is essential for network properties as it ensures all thermostats are connected to the internet and can communicate with our cloud service. By setting up the gateway first, we can monitor the installation progress and address any issues that arise during the process. To enable the networking capabilities of the VX4 thermostat, you can refer to the manual. Let's go through the steps. Start by screwing the antenna onto the wireless receiver. Then connect the wireless receiver to the Verdant gateway using the supplied USB cable. Affix the wireless receiver to the wall with double-sided adhesive tape. Orient the antenna to point upwards. Connect the Verdant gateway to the LAN port with the supplied RJ45 cable. Plug the Verdant gateway into an electrical outlet with the power cord. Our technical support team is here to help you every step of the way. Confirm the online connection kit is communicating properly with the cloud service by calling our dedicated support team at 1-877-318-1823. They're ready to assist you to ensure everything is set up correctly. The antenna module must be installed within 100 feet of the first few thermostats and must not be installed near large metal structures or surfaces. To prevent power-related issues, plug the Verdant gateway into a UPS uninterrupted power supply unit. Now, let's configure the online connection kit. Once you plug the online connection kit into your network switch, if it doesn't come online, you will need to contact your ISP to ensure the following network configurations are in place. Ensure the online connection kit is receiving an IP from a DHCP server. Ensure the MAC address is properly whitelisted if it needs to bypass a login splash page to reach the internet. The MAC address is printed on a white sticker on the bottom of the online connection kit. If behind a firewall, make sure O-bound ports 443, 10,191 to 10,291, and 22 are open for the online connection kit. No inbound ports are required unless specific options are requested. With the online connection kit installed and connected, we can now proceed with the thermostat installation in your rooms. Now, we're going to start with installing the HVAC controller in the unit and the thermostat on the wall. Verdant HVAC controllers offer seamless wireless thermostat control for most HVAC units. They feature J6, 0 to 10 VDC, and J4 RS 485 ports for analog and digital control, along with relay J324 VAC outputs to ensure compatibility with virtually any HVAC system. Refer to the manual for wiring instructions for your specific HVAC unit and to see an illustration that indicates the various ports available on your HVAC controller. Let's go through the steps for installing the HVAC controller in 24 VAC relay units. Power off the HVAC unit. Mount the HVAC controller inside the HVAC unit. Use the supplied wire harness to connect the HVAC controller 
to the HVAC unit. If applicable, set the unit to external thermostat, class 2 mode. Consult the HVAC unit documentation to determine how to set the unit to external thermostat mode. In addition to standard 24 VAC outputs, the J6 port has three universal outputs and a ground for 0 to 10 VDC applications. If you have any questions about using this feature, please reach out to our support team. The J11 port on the HVAC controller may be used to supply 12 VDC power to a wireless thermostat, if desired. Use the supplied wire harness to connect the J11 port to the back of the wireless thermostat. Connect the 12 VDC output, J11 port, to the 12 VDC GND on the wireless thermostat. The J9 port on the HVAC controller can be used as a dry contact for control of external devices, such as lighting relays and dampers. You can refer to application notes for more information. Connect the jumper on J10 to create a wet contact supplying power from RNC. Let's go over the wiring details for the J3 harness. Each wire has a default role, but they can be configured for different applications. Here are the default functions of the wires. C, black, this is your common wire. R, red, this wire provides 24 VAC power. W, white, this one controls the heating. Yellow, this wire is for cooling. O, B, orange, this is for reversing valve for heat pump applications. Aux 2, brown. This relay can be used for other applications. GL, purple. This controls the fan on low speed. GH, green. And this one controls the fan on high speed. Aux 1, blue. This is typically an occupancy output used for lighting, ventilation, etc. Make sure the HVAC controller antenna is facing the thermostat and is not touching or enclosed by any metal components in the HVAC unit. The HVAC controller must be mounted so it cannot fall into the HVAC unit condensation pan. We suggest using plastic cable ties or double-sided tape. Now that we've got the HVAC controller set up, let's go over some important considerations for the installation of the Verdant VX4 wireless thermostat. First, make sure the thermostat's occupancy sensor faces the bed area or the spot where the occupant will spend most of their time. This helps the system work efficiently. We want to choose a location where the thermostat can pick up maximum occupancy. Avoid placing the thermostat near large metal structures or surfaces, like metal air ducts in the wall. These can block the wireless signal, reducing its effectiveness. Also, don't install the thermostat near windows, door vents, on an exterior wall, or above or below supply vents. These areas can affect the thermostat's performance. If you are using a wall plate, place it over the hole left from the previous thermostat, and mark two locations for drilling holes. Next, place the thermostat on the wall in your chosen installation location and mark the spots for drilling holes for the two mounting screws. Drill two 3 16 holes in the wall and insert the wall anchors. Remember, don't over tighten the back plate to the wall. If the surface is uneven, make sure to use a wall plate. Use two screws to securely mount the thermostat to the wall. Finally, insert two AA alkaline batteries into the thermostat. Alternatively, the thermostat can also be powered with 12 VDC or 24 VAC. Wireless thermostats need to be paired with the control card to work properly. To pair, press settings button on the thermostat when you see setup on screen. After the countdown when the thermostat finds the control card, the same QR code on the control card will appear on the thermostat screen. Press settings button to confirm. You will see success if the thermostat paired to the control card properly. Now that your thermostat is installed, let's go through the settings together. Let's configure the thermostat settings starting with mesh ID. We will use 0001 for a single online connection kit or select the ID for the closest kit if multiple are in use. Adjust each digit with the up, down button and press fan to move to the next digit. Press settings to save. Next, let's change the room number. We will use the up, down buttons to select characters. Press fan to advance digits. Press settings to save. For example, you can differentiate multiple thermostats in the same room by adding a letter. Thermostat 1, 00100. Thermostat 2, 0100AI. For the equipment code, we will adjust values using the up down buttons and press fan to move through settings. Press settings to proceed. 
Check the manual or call tech support to verify the correct equipment code to control the HVAC control unit. Now let's adjust the energy savings profile, E0 to E5. Start by adjusting the values with the up, down buttons, and press settings to continue. E0 operates like a standard thermostat without energy savings, while E1 to E5 progressively increases energy savings. The higher numbers offer more aggressive savings. Next, we can adjust the time setting. Set the clock using the up, down buttons to adjust digits. Press fan to move between hours and minutes. The thermostat uses a 24-hour clock, so set the time accordingly. Press settings to finish. If you are connected to the online connection kit, the time will update automatically. For the scheduler, you can choose yes or no based on your needs. When you get to the schedule settings, you can always say no if you don't want to use the scheduler. The symbol for it is N. Press system mode button to save. The system mode button is also known as the power button. Now let's change the temperature display, depending on whether you want it to be Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can tap the second button, which is the settings button, If you want to perform a reset to factory defaults, you can press and hold the fan and power buttons until you see mesh ID, usually N, O, 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 1. Then press settings or gear button repeatedly until you go to clock settings. Press and hold fan and power buttons until the screen shows RST. Then press settings button to configure the thermostat. Then press the FIC button. Verify the thermostat displays setup after 3 seconds and reconfigure the thermostat. If issues persist, contact Verdant Technical Support. Next, we're going to connect an occupancy sensor. Let's start by removing the faceplate and inserting two AAA batteries. Press the internal button to make the sensor discoverable. Follow the thermostat menu for pairing instructions. The sensor will remain discoverable for five minutes. To detect disconnection, check the sensor status in the thermostat menu. Now, let's learn how to replace the batteries of the thermostat. First, we will remove the cover, then insert two new AA batteries. We will reattach the cover and press System Mode button to restart. For consistent operation, we recommend that you replace the batteries every 16 months. Your Verdant VX4 thermostat is now configured and ready for use. From pairing with HVAC controllers to optimizing energy settings, these steps ensure reliable operation and energy savings for your property. If you need any help, our technical support team is here to assist throughout the process. You can contact our team at 877-318-1823 or email verdant.support at copeland.com. Thank you for choosing Verdant and see you in the next video.